Um, the transition from one energetic level to another, so for example from one caste into another, happens without presence of the person's will. Um, yes and no. Uh, this is a very tricky issue. Um, what you see is basically that the person's um, uh, connections and powers um, they are in a way a part of the energy body. So it is, it is not a bureaucratic system uh, per se. So you can't just say like okay this person we, we say he's a master so therefore he or she is a master or we say he's a guru and therefore he or she is a guru and the same with priesthood. Um, it can't work in that way. So in order to, uh, to have a different position within the cosmos um, that position has to become uh, part of your energy body. So for a person to become a knight they have to have a sword not merely in a physical sense but also in an energetic sense. It has to be part of their energetic structure, this sword. Um, the same with shields and staves and all kinds of other elements. They have to become, uh, yeah, in a way, integrated in their, in their system. And this is a process which can go, uh, which can happen naturally. So you can start out growing a sword or growing a staff or growing a shield or a cloak or whatever um, symbol of power or structure which yields you certain powers uh, you want. Um, but it can also be uh, granted. Um, so often uh, an egregore or a god or a goddess or some power may yeah, want you to do something and uh, to be able to accomplish your, um, yeah, your goal you need certain qualities and these qualities can be granted to you. It's in a way like an uh, initiation. Uh, during an initiation the energy body becomes transformed and this is a transformation which can happen naturally so through self-initiation, through just normal spiritual growth or it can be accelerated by um, an egregore or god or goddess or in, an agent of the egregore or god or goddess uh, granting the initiation. Um, the initiation is in a way by nature um, semi-voluntary. Um, so you are not the one doing it, it is the power of the egregore or the god or goddess or the priest or priestess acting upon you which uh, changes your energy body. Um, um, but you yourself have, can or cannot grant uh, access to your energy body to, uh, to this egregore or uh, initiator or initiatory power. Um, one of the ways also to, to work, if you're interested in self-initiation, is to visit um, holy places which were used for initiations. Um, so there are some old Neolithic places, there are some um, um, actually uh, Christian places, there are some not very nice places in ancient Egypt um, which you can visit. And by being in, in such an initiatory uh, place, there are many guides there who help specifically with the process of, uh, of initiation or self-initiation. So if you don't want to find a master or a teacher to, uh, to perform the initiation for you, um, going to a place like that is very useful or making a trance journey to get into direct contact or into a higher energetic sphere where the energy is more flexible can also help you with this, uh, with this process of uh, moving from one caste into another. Um, one important thing to remember though is that we are defined by the lowest energy, not the highest energy which we possess. So I can have some uh, royal qualities uh, which make me very noble, um, but if I also still possess a lot of very heavy sins, I'm very greedy and uh, very mean and sadistic, then I am not a king, I am a criminal. Um, and ultimately how you are uh, how you are seen by 
not so much by other humans, but really by the rest of the cosmos, is much more your, um, your average amount of energy or your lowest amount of energy, never your highest amount of energy. So this is very human tendency to look at like, God, look at what I have achieved or what I can do. Um, where there's a focus on a very small part of your energy body, which is, yeah, admittedly in a very high state, but just ignoring everything else. Um, but this is much more uh, a tendency of the ego, which can be focused on just one thing and forget about everything else. But no energetic being will look upon you in this, uh, in this way. Um, so, and it is ultimately a lot easier to elevate your, uh, your lower energies a bit and thereby make progress of your whole than to try to push one of your talents into the highest peak possible. Um, so just for efficiency's sake, it is best to, to just work with your own heavy side uh, in, uh, and thereby create uh, yeah, a better energetic environment for yourself than uh, only seeking contact with the highest spirits because the highest spirits will probably just kick you back down uh, because they feel you don't belong in their world. So this can also happen with an egregore. Uh, if you are given initiation into a very high ag egregore which, with very pure spirits, uh, the spirits will probably just kick you back down again and out of the egregore because you don't belong there, because your energy is still too polluted or too heavy. Um, so it is very much about um, the slow and stable growth is by working on your, on your heavier things, but you can in a way bootstrap yourself by making contact with something higher you can get more insight, more knowledge of what you can be or what you're supposed to be or what beings on this higher level are like. And this can help you with working on yourself as you are. So uh, little excursions into higher cosmoses, higher states of awareness are very useful. But uh, such an excursion is more of an experience than really uh, a, a transformational uh, event.